video. I'd say savoury is probably my favourite. Yeah. Hence chips. Hence chips. Mm hmm. And Nando's. I like spicy food. My name is Raj. I'm a third year mathematical physicist and I'm going into my fourth year. So I'm just in the weird limbo stage at the moment. I have two, maybe three roles. So the first role I have is I'm, I'm a student ambassador. So I represent the physics department um, during open days. So UCAS, potential applicants and things like that. They, um, when they come in, I talk to them about the course I do, mathematical physics, and why I chose Nottingham UON physics in general. And then I also am the education rep, so that the SU have this thing called the Education Network, which is a bunch of group, it's a group of students, about 900 students in total. And what they do is they just make sure that if there's any positive change that for my department want, then I can try and influence that positive change to make sure that the academic lives of students uh, improves. And then my third role is I deliver milk to the common rooms. Um, they both kind of link into the same thing. So I remember in first year, like November time, I got an email from the senior tutor here and he was advertising for course reps. So um, I applied to be the mathematical physics course rep and I was voted in. So from that, the mathematical physics course organiser at the time, um, she basically said to me, How, you know, did you have an interest in doing the ambassador open days? She was like, okay, we'll go and get you helped helping out with the math phys side of things because we don't actually have many many reps because they were both fourth year at the time, so they were leaving. Um, so yeah, I guess I sort of filled in at the bottom. So since first year, I've been doing the student ambassador stuff because I was a course rep. And then I got elected course rep again in second year for math mathematical physics. And then now I'm the education rep for third year and I've been elected again for fourth year. So I guess just because I started as a course rep in first year. That's why I got these roles. Um, I enjoy all four, of, all three of them a lot, to be honest. I stood because I truly believe that um, if you have the capacity or the skills to improve someone else's life, you know, even incrementally, then you have the moral obligation to do so. So, story time. I really liked biology. I've always really liked biology um, and then I realised that I'm a lot better at physics at GCSE like I remember doing two I remember doing a biology and physics GCSE test and I think I got the difference between the two even though I thought I failed physics I absolutely destroyed that exam and I absolutely did not destroy the biology exam um, so I guess I've always been good at it and then I, our physics teacher at GCSE he really motivated me to start looking into why I am good at physics and it was because I enjoyed maths and I really like the link between maths and physics so he started showing us like I know it's cliche but wonders of the universe wonders of the solar system and it's that um, it's the way you can talk about maths contextualized in a physics perspective which you know I always knew that physics was an interest that you know that really interests me um, and then a level I just chose to do physics as well and I just loved it so I came here to do physics um, I realized physics wasn't quite the degree for me because there are certain aspects of physics I'm interested in and certain aspects that I'm not so I changed to mathematical physics and I would never regret that decision I absolutely love my degree even though it's very stressful um, it's a lot of work and it can be hard at times because it is one of the hot, toughest degrees you could do you know physics is conceptually very challenging but you know, that's part of the enjoyment. Um, I love physics, really, and maths. I did not know that the mathematical physics degree existed until I came to university. I'd heard of things like joint honours, maths and physics, um, but that to me wasn't what I was looking for. Um, so when I heard like a few weeks in or two weeks in or something like that, that mathematical physics exists, um, that's when I sort of started looking into it properly because I've always been good at maths and I've always loved it especially. Um, but, you know, I didn't really think that that's what I was sort of inclined to do, but I loved A-level maths, so sort of fed into it. Um, being a minority in physics, I, I don't really know. I grew up in a majority white neighbourhood, um, 
so I've never really felt like, well, I am a minority skin color wise, but I've always felt like I was included, you know. I've never really felt like it's been an issue for me. I think where being a minority may come into being an issue is if you're LGBT plus or if you're a woman in physics. Um, women in physics is a big, big conundrum, I'll say, because, you know, one fifth of my year, so one in five physics students of my year are, you know, female, they're, they're women. And BME as well, like, I think there's like three people in our year doing physics who are BME. And that is, that's what's scary because, you know, yes, there's very little women in physics, but BME, even less. And I think, you know, it, it, there's lots of factors, social factors, um, the way that the world works, society has this predisposed image of what women should be doing and people of ethnic minorities should be doing. But I think I've been very lucky in, in the fact that I've never felt misrepresented or not included in something. I've never felt disadvantaged because I was of a certain colour or ethnicity. Um, but you can tell there are some diversity issues in physics, especially the two I highlighted. So don't be discouraged if you think just because you're of a certain type that you shouldn't be doing physics. When I was a tiny boy, I actually wanted to be a police officer, um, which I could probably still see myself doing. However, I'm very lazy. I don't really like moving from my desk. And I know police officers have a very difficult job because <laughs> they have to actually walk around and meet people and don't like people. So, um, no, I'm joking. Uh, no, I wanted to be a police officer when I was younger and somehow I'm doing physics. When I came to Nottingham, you know, they were very truthful, very realistic about what, Not what Nottingham is, what Nottingham's like. Um, when I came and did the department talk, they were big on getting us to talk to students. And I think the students here really, you know, motivated me to, to come to Nottingham. Um, I think the department itself realizes that people are individuals. And I think that's the most important thing. Like, they don't care that I don't enjoy experimental physics. So that there's this other course called mathematical physics that I'm more interested in. I think that, you know, just the fact that the department t treated us like adults, I really enjoyed that. Um, and one thing one of the ambassadors said was that, you know, none of the lecturers here are perfect. And I think that's, that's such a good statement to make because I feel like if you're going to a university and they say the lecturers are perfect, like they're lying to you, hands down they're lying to you because no lecturer is perfect every single person is an individual and they learn in such a different way like i've had lecturers here that i've really loved and my friends have had lecturers that they've really hate hated like the, the exact same lecturer but we've got two completely different opinions on them and it's just down to the way we learn so yeah not every lecturer is perfect um but you will find you know every lecturer meets a certain standard and i think them telling me that was really important because it, it's the realism behind studying at university it's not like these blurred lines where they're saying, oh, everything's perfect. So I think just treating us like we are people and not £9,000 per year entities um, was important. And that's why I love the department. And I think being here at the department, what I've realised is um, obviously nothing's perfect, but they are really, really good at saying, OK, this isn't perfect. Let, how can we change that? You know, they're really receptive to feedback, really receptive to change, and they're willing to change whatever they possibly can to make sure that the students are happy here. And, you know, working in the education, as the education rep, I think realising how they're good at that um, sort of just makes me love the department a bit more.